Right, hello, lads and lasses, and welcome back to Boys Down Under, where today we are getting the crystal ball out and we are looking towards the future. Before we get into the video, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to support the channel even further, become a member down below by clicking that join button. But without further ado, let's get into it. So this video is gonna kind of run like those transfer videos I do where, you know, we talk about the player, you know, about who they are, what they'd bring to the team sort of things. But the great thing about this is that we don't need to sign any of these players because they're already contracted to the club. We are talking about the players in Tommy McIntyre's B team who I feel or think should get a Celtic debut this season. And yeah, I think I think I'm gonna do that. And obviously, obviously, Ange is very reluctant to you know play youth products. You've seen throughout his time, he'd he'd rather he he prefers experience over youth. However, these players have certainly made an impact in the B team that shows that they are ready for first team action. Now, the first player we're going with is someone who I think. Is, is 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 someone who's very, very capable of playing first-team football. I mentioned him very briefly in my video yesterday, and also Darren O'Day has spoken very highly of him in his interview, and it is the B-team goalkeeper, 19-year-old Toby Oluwayemi. Ol Oluwayemi, I think that's how you pronounce it. Now, Toby yesterday was brought up in Darren O'Day's interview, and O'Day had to say nothing but praise for the young lad. He said... Toby is doing really well. He came in a couple years ago and has taken time to adjust to, obviously, a new style of football, but more importantly, a new life. I saw Toby off the back end of last season for the under-18s. There was a marked improvement in him, and he's in a really good place at the minute. And his hard work has certainly been paying off for him. He's gotten a spot on the bench for Celtic, and albeit that isn't a debut, it's still a lot more than other prospects like Connor Hazard are getting for the club. And the great thing about Toby is that he has signed a contract extension this year to keep him at the club until 2024. So he has many more years to develop under the guidance of Ange McIntyre O'Day. But most importantly, I think this is the best part about it, is that he has time to develop under the mentorship of Joe Hart, a keeper who has played at the very highest level. He's won, a, he's won the Premier League. He's won a Golden Glove. And I can't say much more about him. And the mentorship he can provide for Toby is absolutely imperative and it would be crucial to his development. And he is consistently impressing as we speak, though, Toby. He, domestically and internationally, he put in a really, really strong showing in, Eng in the England under-19s game against Andorra, keeping a clean sheet. Vast, vast amounts of potential for the lad. And I think he was a really great coup for Celtic when he signed from, Tot from the Tottenham Academy. And look, I don't know where he gets his start, where he gets his debut. I don't think you can start anyone but Joe Hart if Joe Hart's completely fit. But maybe... Maybe if Celtic are 4 5 nil up, 3-4-5, I guess you could say, with like 20 minutes to go, maybe that's a great time to bring him on just to, you know, give him some, give, give, just give him to his debut because at that point, when, when it's 20 minutes to go and Celtic are 3 nil up or more, it, the game is over. There is no question about that. And it would take a lot of pressure off him of not having to, you know, be, 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 a, be a match winner in the sense that he has to make crucial saves to keep us in the game. But I am excited, despite him being a goalkeeper, I am excited to see what the future brings for him at Celtic. Now, the second youth product we're going to talk about, and this is another player who's really, really impressed, but it, I've, is impressed in the B team, but may find it hard to, hard to get his debut in the first team. It's B team player Boson Lol. Now, Lol currently represents the Republic of Ireland, at under 21's level and has joined the Celtic Academy actually this season from Watford for a fee around 150,000 ish and he and he he was named player of the season academy player of the season for Watford and though that award got him so many plaudits from higher up players at the team most notably Troy Deeney said he has an extremely bright, bright future and has a bit of an Abdu Abdullah Dekure, Ab Abdullah Dekure about him. He's a dual position whiz kid as well. He plays uh, 
CDM, but he's also very capable at centre back. I'm pretty sure he's played both positions for Tommy McIntyre this season. And he's been a real, real standout in the B team this season. And he seems very, very valuable, a valuable coup for Celtic. Because honestly, moving moving clubs in the summer, well, British summer, and then he's even captained the team on a couple of occasions. It's a tremendous feat for the player and it speaks levels of the development he's going through and the development he's going through as a player. And honestly, if Celtic don't sort out the issues they've got right now with James McCarthy and Ismail Soro, Lowell could very well find himself as the third in line for that CDM role. And he could be handed a debut in, in a numerous amount of matches if something, God forbid, happened to Callum McGregor or near Baton. And I think, I think the case will be, though, it will be another debut where the match is already wrapped up and he just comes on to see the game out and, you know, get to experience first-team football, be introduced into the fans, and, yeah, make his mark in the Celtic first team. Now, even if he doesn't debut this season, and this, I think, goes for all the players, it, it, it's something that seems plausible that they won't debut, but he will be still developing as a player under the guidance of Tommy McIntyre, under the guidance of Darren O'Day. And even if they get promoted to the first team and don't debut, they, they would be working under Ange and his coaching staff, and they will be keep, they'll keep on improving and improving and getting better and preparing themselves for what it's like uh, in the first team. And another great thing about Boson Lol is that he is contracted here till 2024, so we will be able to monitor his development for the next few years, and hopefully by that point he can make a name for himself in the first team. And as we continue to move upfield, we get to some very, very exciting players. The most notable one, and a, a player who had a lot of Celtic fans talking and got a lot of outlandish claims that he was the next Jimmy Johnston, it is Owen Moffat. Now, Mr. Moffat, like his fellow B-team players, has been gaining a lot of attention from, from, from the media, from people around in the club, and others spoken about. Another great thing about Moffat is that he is contracted till Celtic till 2024. He's made some appearances for Celtic on the bench this season. He still hasn't gotten his first team debut. But I, a lot of people are considering it's going to be a, de it's a debut of when, not if. And honestly, I, I can see the reasons why. I can see why he's getting the most attention, I say, out of everyone else in the B team. He scored a whopping five goals against Vale of Leith in him, which was hardly a, an even affair, but still five goals out of, out of, out of, uh, that's, that is mental in a game of football. And he is consistently improving and performing for the Celtic B team. And that it, it, it's gotten a lot of people talking and a lot of people saying he should be handed his debut. Now, currently he plays in the, in the attacking mid role, and that position currently is being occupied by David Turnbull in the absence of Tommy Brogic. And the great thing about uh, Moffat... People are doing burnouts on my road, but the great thing about Moffat is that he's a Celtic boy through and through. He started with the Junior Academy, he moved up to the under-18s, and now he is in the B team. And he's shown a lot of ability in a Celtic jersey, most notably in pre-season, where he got his first couple of Celtic goals, a couple of assists, and he really, really impressed in pre-season and put in such a strong showing and put a case forward to, you know, be in and around the first team come the start of the season. He, he, was, he was one of the standouts, and look, I can't see Ange starting Moffat in, in really any game, despite the fact and the claims which I feel are true that Ange is actually a really, really big fan of Moffat. I can see why I'm a big fan of him. I think if you put him in on in the team, he will not disappoint for you, but I still do feel he, he, Ange would rather he continue his development in the B team than rush him into the first team, because at the moment, there's no need to rush him in You've got James Forrest, Mikey Johnston, Abada, Jodder, Kyogo can play on the wing. And then you have an abundance of players who can play on these wings. And there's no need to bring up B players when they can continue to develop and get game time for the B squad. And look, I think, I think the great thing about this whole ordeal about all these B team players is that they are not just the only ones that Celtic could look at giving a debut to this season. These are just the ones that I decided to pick out and stare at and talk about. Because you look at you look at the, the B team squad and it is filled with talent. You've got players like Rocco Vata, who I probably should have spoken about. 
But I think he could easily get a debut this season. You've got Joey Dawson, who arrived from Scunthorpe in the summer. You've got Kieran Dixon. He came from the other side of Glasgow. Ewan Otto, Otto. He captains the team. He's a centre back. Look, there's abundance and abundance of talent in this B team. And I think it just shows the, the quality of Celtic's academies. And I think it, it's a great sign of years to come for Celtic when we won't have to buy great players from Europe. We can just be developing them ourselves and pushing them up into the first team. And gonna be, it's going to build that quality depth that Ange is trying to strive for with this team. So when a player has to come off or when a player has to be substituted, the intensity stays the same or even gets better. And the quality stays the exact same. He needs to be able to rely on everyone. And the develop, the, the honestly, Tommy McIntyre is doing a great job with these youth players. They're doing well. And I think, it's, I think yeah, like I said, it's just a sign of great things to come for the club. Hopefully, we get to see a few B-team debuts this season. Personally, I'd like to see, you know, Boson Lowell get his debut. I wouldn't mind seeing Owen Moffat. Actually, I'd really like to see Owen Moffat, the keeper. Uh, Toby Oluwemi. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't see him really getting a debut, but it would be nice to see. And breeding them and introducing them to the Celtic fans. But that is all from me. So if you did enjoy the video, please remember to like that button, hit the subscribe button, and if you want to support the channel even further, click the join button. But without, without further ado, that's the intro I have. So until next time, hail, hail.